Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Lala, and I know I haven't posted in a while, but girl's been busy, and 2023 was just such a blessing for me. Uh, but I hope to be more consistent, and if someone could please tell me how to upload all my storage to the iCloud, that'd be nice. Um, besides that, I will be more consistent with my videos, and I'm hoping to do more like these. Today, we're going to get into tips. Uh, that I've been asked before and a little bit about my art journey. So I'm really excited. But before we do that, let's uh, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, if you want to know more about my process or if you want a certain thing done and you want to see me do it, let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll try to get it done for you. Question number one, what challenges have you faced as an emerging artist? My current and main challenge definitely has been grant writing. Um, I'm learning how to do that by simply just asking the grant writing officer if, if my submission is good or not, but that's like my number one challenge, but we're working on it. Question number two, what gives you inspiration for new pieces? Life. <laughs> every day of it, every day gives me inspiration for new pieces. Uh, I also have like eight siblings, three children. I grew up in a multicultural family that all kinds of ties in with my art and my art style, my art journey, uh, just watching my kids grow up and watching my family do things that we've always done. And what seems common to me may not be so common to others, or it might just be what others are doing. So I think, yeah, just life in general gives me inspiration. Next question. What helps you switch your mindset to a looser style? Um, I have always liked the looser style look. And I found it really hard to achieve because I work in acrylics, but I've been practicing and it seems that time is now allowing me to do it. Like I have no time, uh, <laughs> even doing this little video, I can't come, I got juice here. Like I, I need to be prepped and ready to go. Um, so when it comes to my practice, it's not that it's rushed. It's just like good timing that okay i have a schedule and i wanted to do a looser style so it's kind of forcing me to do that which i'm actually enjoying because i'm getting my porches done in two hours versus seven <laughs> yes yeah, seven hours so i'm grateful for it okay so next question got any tips for a self-taught artist trying to learn realism yes real do your landscapes do your still lives learn how to organize things in a certain way uh, you know they have that what is it the thirds and then the little triangles i don't know if you know about the triangles but look up the triangles triangles are good and uh just take what you learn from all those things and apply it to what you want to master in also learn your medium master your medium okay, next question any pointers for realistic eyes and forming a face forming a face study anatomy i have a book I studied anatomy. <laughs> I used to use other methods, but I think studying anatomy is just straightforward. You can adjust it to anybody's face. You can start to realize how people skull and their bodies work. Uh, and you draw different positions and poses and all kinds of things with various people. So anatomy comes clutch with that. Uh, also, go to a life drawing class. That'll help you with your anatomy progress. Uh, the second thing for an eye... I don't like to use white unless it's just for a highlight, uh, which is right in the middle of the eye usually. Um, but I do like to use grays and blues within the eye and pinks for the underneath. I also practice forming several different shapes of eyes. So as long as you get several different shapes down, uh, you will get a general population with like an almond eye or the square eye. Okay, next question. Uh, what is your dream art project? That's a lot. <laughs> uh, I want to open my own business. I want to work with my community. I want to work with celebrities. I want to work with brands. Uh, my dream art project would specifically be something with Issa Ray, Quinta Brunson, and my community. If we can make that happen, it would be great. Next question. Uh, when did you know you wanted to be an artist? This is such a cute question. I was five. I would draw on everything. My mom got me a sketchbook. When I was five, I definitely knew I wanted to be an artist. I knew that this was like my thing and nobody could take it away from me. Um, 
funny enough, I didn't actually get to that <laughs> until, until I was at work one day. I was in my mid twenties and one of my coworkers was just like, you should pursue this. Like, this seems like something you would want to do. I was like, mm, okay, crazy. But eventually I did. And I'm so happy I listened to her because, um, yeah, she really, she actually hired me to do a mural at her house. Like, this is how much this girl trusted me. I, I thought it was crazy, but I did it. I would come home from work every single night. I go to her house and I work on that freaking mural. And <laughs> sorry, I was getting a message, but I would work on that mural. And it took me three months to finish because she had a massive, massive basement. And when I was done, it was just like confirmation. I can do this. Let's get started. Next question. How can we encourage uh, Career Girl 2024? Mm, interact with my social media. I think, you know, I put things on social media and I don't actually expect people to interact with it. But if you do, it's a really lovely surprise. I do enjoy the dopamine of a like. Um, also coming to a show or coming to my class. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I work with the libraries and uh, I teach paint afternoons for adults so if you come to my class if you come to a show if you are on the internet and you just want to give me a like or a comment or subscribe that's too much okay if you want to give me all those things that is really cool i'm really excited like that's that would help me um just kind of you know move forward and not be oh the algorithm's against me i don't I'm trying not to care about the algorithm, but it's hard not to care about the algorithm when it's not algorithming. Um, so yeah, that would be nice. Thank you for that question. And last but not least, ooh, this is long. <laughs> okay, last but not least, tell us what's next. Tell us what's next. I have a group exhibition on February 3rd. It's a jury art exhibition. I'd like if you showed up. Um, it's going to be at the Visual Arts Clarington. That's really, really cool. Um, I also have uh, an art class, a paint afternoon at the Clarington Library. That's going to be, oh, that is pending. I'm going to tell you when, I swear. I'll leave it down in the comment. I'm sorry, that you know that description section? I'll leave it down there. And uh, yeah, for the February month, that is what I have. So hopefully you guys can attend or you guys can come to my class or I'll put out a YouTube video uh, just kind of showing you what we've done. And if you have any questions, if you want me to make more YouTubes, if you want me to go into depth about any kind of painting, I'm just saying you subscribe, you write a comment saying what you want and I'm gonna try to give it to you. Anyways, that wraps up our questions for today. I hope you enjoyed this painting, whichever side it's on. And I hope you come back for more. I love you. Hope to see you soon.